Test hundreds are special things. Are they even more special here? Uh, yeah. Um, you know, it's obviously when you walk in that dressing room and you see the board and those sort of things. So, you know, I was looking at it a couple of days out from the game and thinking, could I get on there? And um, yeah, it's nice to nice to get up there. Who were you waving to in the crowd when you were celebrating that hundred? Uh, my wife and my daughter. Um, yeah, they were here on Thursday and they were here today. So they were missing yesterday. Unfortunately, my dad's eldest brother and, and best mate missed out yesterday from seeing any cricket. So, um, yeah, I think the daughters might be a good, um, good omen. In terms of the innings itself, was it a battle out there? Was it... Uh, it, it looked easier once you'd got the, the three figures. How tough was it out there? Yeah, it was really tough. I think they bowled really well. Um, I thought I actually had a really good tempo on, on Thursday. Uh, and I was you know, moving quite fluently and quite nicely. Uh, and then towards the back end of that day, they dried me up a little bit. And they came in with the same plan today. Um, like I say, I almost wanted to bowl at other people in the order rather than bowl at me. Um, and almost try and make me make a mistake. Um, so that's credit to New Zealand. But yeah, it's, as I said, I think the sort of game situation dictated that I get a little bit more fluent towards the back end there, and uh, partnership with Jim was uh, quite a nice one. When the wickets were falling in, in the middle order, what were you saying to, to batsmen coming out to join you? Oh, just, you know, the usual information, you know, pitch conditions and, and what the bowlers are trying to do, and so the guys can, you know, make their best plans moving forward. Um, you know, just trying to keep the guys calm. Um, it's generally quite a relaxed atmosphere when I'm at the crease anyway, so, um, yeah, just that really. You'll know how big the next 12 months is. How satisfying is it for you to have got that score at the start of it and know that you've, you've shown the England uh, management and your teammates exactly what you can do? Uh, yeah, I think it's nice, obviously, you know, being left out the last couple in India. Um, it's, it's not a nice thing when, when you've been playing. Um, but to come back and obviously the next opportunity that you get given um, to try and take that, uh, yeah, it's really pleasing and yeah, I'm really satisfied with 100. It feels like the missed day yesterday will limit the opportunity for either side to win this game. What's the talk in the dressing room and out there in the middle in terms of what England can do to force some sort of some sort of positive result? Um, I think it's just more of the same as that. I think we've bowled really well tonight. Um, you know, probably could have had a couple more wickets there as well. Um, you know, third innings is a tricky one for New Zealand to try and pace. I um, mean, they're obviously ahead in the game currently, so uh, it's probably on them to make the moves. Um, you know, if we get something to chase or something that we have to bat out, then that's, you know, game situation dictated again to us, but um, they're probably just, just edging it at the minute. What are your plans for this evening to celebrate? Uh, take my sparks off, I think. That'll be quite enjoyable at <laughs> some stage. <laughs> well played. Pleasure to watch you Cheers, today, thanks Rory. A thanks a lot. Yeah, he's out there a long time. 132 is an unusual player, isn't he? Yes, he is. But uh, he, he, I, I, was, I agreed with what he said. He got a good pace early on in that innings, had to struggle today, and then opened out after. So, yeah, he looked much better than I remember. Yeah.